Hey guys, it's Richard, you and only, my name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. How cool does this entrance look on the little mini-map here? Because of the diagonal bridge, it reminds me of like a, um, a 2D pixel art top-down like um, strategy game. Do you know what I mean? Like like a Rome War sort of style thing. I don't know, it just looks really cool with like the, st the uh, castle walls going at a slight angle and stuff like jagged. Just reminds me really retro gaming. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway, today I want to do a couple of things. The first thing I want to do is dress up this area. We mentioned it, I think, last episode. I think I want to put a nice waterfall in here. Uh, one, it just you will use up that space really well. And secondly, it'll be really cool to see it when you're going over the bridge just having a waterfall there, huh? Like a really wide one that just, like, drapes down the side of the mountain. That could be really cool. Uh, and secondly, I'd like to get some street lights going on. Now, I'm not talking about, like, modern street lights. I'm talking about, like... The sort of waxy, candly ones, you know, that they go around and they light every night. That would be really cool. I think that was someone's job back in the day to go around and light them all, wasn't it? Sounds like something like I've, I've heard somewhere. Um, I've also gone around, you might see these sporadic trees popping up all episode. Because I've planted all the saplings. All around here. All on this part. All around here. All around there. And all up to there so this is going to be a nicely wooded area holding in the wall and sort of filling up all of that green space which isn't doing anything otherwise i always prefer and this is a huge tip when doing anything always fill a, gr a, a grassed area with trees rather than just leaving it grass if you leave it grass it looks unfinished it looks uncompleted if you put trees there it's like a shortcut it's like a cheat to make something look fuller and finished uh, because you've got so much depth on leaves, you've got ups and downs, you've got different shades as you go into different biomes, you've got different colours. It's really uh, easy, simple way to be able to fill out an area. And it looks superb when they've all grown, uh, especially if you've got a nice um, range of trees. Like I've got but only birch and oak. I haven't got any um, spruce trees, obviously, in this whole wooded area. Uh, it's not until over there that we get the spruce trees. So why would you have spruce trees here? You wouldn't. I've got a real nice range of mostly oak and then some birch sort of dotted in between them all. Exactly how you'd see in a natural sort of wooded area like we're looking at here. Very nice. So, uh, let's start off with the... And I haven't done this side yet. I need to wood up all of this area as well around what we built. Was it last episode? The little chopped down wood area? I need to wood all that up as well. Uh, and then wait for it to snow. I might... Oh, I could just... I can make it snow. Can't I need to get the snow on top of all those trees. And it'll blend out really nicely then as well. And if the trees around here. But anyway, let's find out how we want this to go. So, if we... I'm think, I want a really wide one. And I want it coming out of here rather than from on top of it. Uh, so, we're going to have to sort of... Maybe cut like a slit like this. With like a shape we want. Something like that, I think. And then I think I'm going to just cut in there a little bit more. I think something like that and then I want the water to be on the bottom of this on here this level and on there like that so let's just see where it goes that's so perfect you can't believe I, I, I was thinking about having it going like woggly all down this way but then I thought, hang on, if it's just dead straight, it looks actually man-made, which is what we want from this part. We want you, you want natural, like, lava falls and waterfalls and stuff. But in an area like this, you want it to look like it was, it was for, it, 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 it was, uh, like, designed in a way. So that is absolutely perfect. I think we'll now get some dirt or some grass, in fact. And just grass up over the top here, just to accentuate a little bit of depth on there. Make it look a little bit deeper in there. That'll turn back to... I don't need that one. Oh, no, I, do, I, don't, I like that one. That'll turn into dirt, though, eventually, so that'll look a lot better. So just try and naturalise that a little bit. That side looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Uh, in here, I think I'm going to now, now I've got the waterfall in place, I'm just going to make it go a little bit deeper so we can't see, can't see nothing then, so then we can't see the, um, uh, 
like dirt when you're looking through it. In fact, that might. No, I can still see through it because of the shade. As you can see through it quite easily. Uh, maybe if we we put our own black wool up there, we'll do that instead and cheat the system. Just looks like it goes back further. Ooh, look at that one, but it's yeah, backwards through that pole. Uh, okay, beautiful. That's going into there. Uh, if I remove that one little square here, perfect. Look at that. And it's even at the bottom here, got like a little sort of splash look to it. How it's sort of coming out and then in and then out. Very nice. Can I? Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Okay, um, now we want to dress up the sides here. I don't need to do any poles in the middle like we had last time, but I do want to thick bush this area up. Let's turn these shaders off now. There we go. It doesn't look as good without the shaders on, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, I really want to bush this area up. I want to have the bushes draping down. In fact, I like that, I think. Make them a little bit thicker, a little bit taller. That's good for one bush. I want another bush down on the ground here. So, I'm, I'm going on top of the dirt blocks, but then... You like, oh, I like to leave, you don't have to, but I like to leave like little areas of, of a gap there. So it looks like the uh, the leaves are growing down. It gives that impression. Okay, that's cool, but I think I want it to come around here a bit more. Something more like this. Really make this one spread out wide. Something like, something like that. Yeah, much better. And then I think a little one on the top here, just draped over the edge. Just draped over like that. And that sits on top of here. Just a little one there. Okay, very nice. I really like that. Uh, now what I want is around this area here and this area here. Uh, it's like it's like a little uh, what they call them, um, uh, like like uh, the perfect island sort of you know that that sort of like image. I want sugarcane in here. It's gonna be just a really beautiful waterfall, yeah, because it's been it's been created by um, by the, the the city itself. Can I not put one there? Obviously not. I always forget about the rules of sugarcane. Something like that. And then we'll do the old trick of putting string on top of the sugar cane to stop them from growing anymore. So obviously they don't naturally grow taller than three, so we don't need to put them on top of the three ones. But on the other ones, to keep them at that height, we put string on top. Otherwise, you just end up with a, a, just a wall, basically. Just a wall of sugar cane. It doesn't really look that good. Now I'm going to spread these out into some different sort of clumps so they're not all together. I like that, I think. How cool does that look? Some lily pads down the bottom here as well. And you know what? I ooh, Double click. I really like the... How was it double clicking for? I like the two together there, though. I might just put a couple out here, just spread them out. Um, when I done the lily pad there... I like the lilacs, I, the idea of having lilacs behind here as well. Just at the bottom, not up the mountain, just at the bottom here, in a few little spots, a little bit sort of hidden away on either side. Hmm. That will work if I do that. Okay, I think we've got the bottom pretty well set up here. I love the sugar cane, that's a really nice touch. And then going up the sides, what could we have? Uh, some tall, double tall. Well, we got them all here. Um, do we want any other flowers? If I was going to have flowers, what would we have? What about mushrooms going up? That's different. That's different. Like mushrooms going up the sides there. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with that. And I definitely want some uh, double tall ferns. 
Maybe even some double tall tall grass as well. We don't get that too often. All right, let's put these mushrooms in. Oh, it's too light for them. Oh, that sucks. I wondered why I hadn't done it before. Oh, that would have been really cool to have. Like a little mushroom mushroom mountain. Hmm. All right, we'll go with these. I like the idea of having like small little uh, rounded flowers. So we'll just put some of these in up the side of the waterfall here. Something like that. I think that's good. And then we'll go with the double tall ferns. And this is going to be the majority. This and the double tall grass is going to be the majority of uh, the detail in this area. In this waterfall. So I'm sort of clicking as much as I can, really. Okay, I like that. And then the double tall grass on here as well. It's almost... Um, because there's more lighter pixels on double tall grass than there is on ferns, it, it looks to me like sometimes like a different shade. Which is nice. I have them on the top there. One at the back there. Yeah. The difference between that one and that one when you when they come through the uh, biome. Look at that. Hey, that's crazy different. So I'm just sort of trying to ease it out a little bit as well so it doesn't look quite harsh of a transition. That's really nice. It needs a colour though, doesn't it? It needs either a little bit more pink up here or a standout colour. I think I'm going to go with a little bit more pink up there. Maybe some alum. Ali. Aliam. 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 There's three ways to say it. Just a little bit of purple on here. It matches well with the lilacs. But uh, and just subtly brings it all the way up the mountain. A little one hidden there as well. Top down here. Yeah, look at that. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. So this is now really nicely dressed up. If we back up all the way over here. Look at that when we when we were up here. That looks so cool from up here. And then when we're down on like a, a walking level. Down here. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. I like that. What if we stood down on this island as like a, a passerby, like a wandering fisherman? That's sick. Squid down there too. Bringing in the wildlife amazing okay so let's move on to inside the city now where we need to work on a lamp design <coughs> i'm still a little bit ill on a lamp design this this is a good trial area so how do we want these to go now i would love i would love to use redstone lamps because they have that they they, they straight away just have that uh like medieval feel Bonus, you can turn them on and off. But obviously, we'll just have ours on all the time. But it looks it, it looks like a little candle in a little glass container, which is so perfect. But the problem is, and you guys know, how do we power it? I mean, you could go as simple as, as possible and do that, right? And you, you could probably get away with that. Just having those around the city that light up the past nicely. little lever on top. You can turn them on and off if you want to. Really cool for survival, but not really that great looking. Now, I think the best way to get around this would be... Put it there then. Would be to put a torch um, underneath the block, underneath the redstone lamp. So then the torch powers the block, and then the lamp draws the power from it. I think that looks a lot neater, because it's just powered basically and then we can slab the top i think either a stone one or a dark oak one see stone is the that's the most common way i think to cap them if you're doing that design but i think that you know, although it blends into that building behind would it blend in most of the area no it wouldn't it's just because we've got a house behind it that looks a bit bent if i stand this way you can sort of imagine what it would be against the mo against most of the city Now, I think I like the wood. I think it feels a little warmer. That feels a little bit artificial. And that feels a little bit warmer. I think that I think that's what I want to go with. Now, do we want to keep the oak log at the bottom here? We could match this up with its own 
spruce and spruce that feels really nice too and then you could get things like trap doors if you wanted to you could put trap doors on there that looks pretty cool but i think it's if you're gonna do that then you might as well just use glowstone in the middle and save your hassle of the redstone torches just put glowstone in the middle but you could put them down here and that gives like a little bit of a thicker base within the candle on top and that looks nice i i do like that design i think that's probably the winning design so far but we could also take away i can remember that i can remember how how we done that but we could have it so it's taller so it's higher up and uh, we could do something like i don't know cobblestone wall and a fence because i think that looks it's just a really nice way to do like a bottom there now these don't need to be crazy tall you could do them two or three blocks tall. i think three blocks is quite a nice amount you could have that on top if you're going to do it like that two blocks is probably the right height isn't it and again i really like this idea of the slab on top you see that works really well i guess blending in with the roof behind i have to stand over here to give you a better idea but again we've now got the other problem of how do we power it if we because we want it on now we could again we could use glowstone and trap door up the side here but for people like me i don't like to be able to see the other side of the glowstone here now a shortcut way would be probably to just change the texture of glowstone to something you like in your own texture pack but uh, we're trying to keep or we are keeping everything sort of vanilla here so i, I don't want to do that uh rest of have already got on me so what if how would i how would i power it? um we could make a thicker pole Mm, I already don't like this, but you could make a thicker pole, redstone block it from underneath, and then get some trap doors of some kind. I'll just do those those two. Let's sort of see. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't like that either. I really, if I'm gonna do it, I want that that and that how would you get it to light or do we do it so the lever points towards hmm that doesn't really work either. No, I don't think there's a way that I'm going to happily... Maybe you guys are happy with one of the ones that we've gone through. But I'm not happy really with any of them. Uh, I think we're going to stick with the low style that we done first. And you know what? That's probably the right spot there for one. So, let's get this in the, in, in the right order. We're going to have torch first. Because that's what we're going to break the ground with. And then we're going to go with a spruce log. And then we're going to go with redstone lamp. And then we're going to go slab, just so we can build them really easily around the city. That one, that one, that one, that one. And you want to get these in really as many spots as you can. Like I'll, I'll probably have one here. That one, ooh, that one. Ah, best laid plans. That one, that one, that one, that one. You really sort of want one over here. Apart from the fence is going to join up to them, isn't it? Does it matter? Am I am I that? Nah, I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Let's just go down this sort of strip here. Find out where we can see. I'm getting really tight here on how, where to put them. Put one there. That would be a fine spot. We have one. I'm gonna put one I'm gonna take that fence away to put one there. Oh, someone's come to my house, so you'll be hearing dogs bark for a little minute. 
Uh, yeah, that works. Now, you'd really want to do them sort of how you have in a real city nowadays, where you have one on the left, one on the right, one on the left, one on the right, one on the left. In fact, so far, we've actually done it, <laughs> amazingly, um, and sort of stagger them in the way. Uh, what about, do I, do I need them in the centre here? I've really got, got spite. Unless I put them, like, here. If they look right there, I'll put them there. So we could have one like that, and have one like that. Now you would have to, if you're going to do it in, in, in one, you're going to have to do them on all four of them, aren't you? That one, 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 that one. That one, that one. <laughs> so many. You think, ah, oh, I must be nearly there. Nope, more, more, more. And that one. Yeah, I think you need some light in the sort of main area there. Okay, what about up this way? Uh, you can't, I can't really get them going up there, can I? Not really. I suppose you could. I could get one here. Because that's fine next to those stairs, right? And then have one here. And then one there. One there. I think no one want one there. It just makes that a little bit thinner, but that's okay. All right, so we've got light going up the stairs. Let's do this corner, and then this whole corner of the whole city's done. Uh, so this is a little bit more open now, so we can sort of have a little bit more freedom on where we want to place these. Um, I think one there. Looking really nice. Already they're looking really nice around the city. I would love to get this done today so that we can just turn it to night mode and, and, and really see a glow through everywhere. But I might have to cut away because this is there's going to be a lot of lamps and it's going to just be a lot of repeating. And I'm sure you guys are probably already getting a little bit bored. So I shall continue with this. Oh, I can't put one there. I should continue doing this and I should be back. All right, I think... I think this is pretty much the last one. Actually, went a lot quicker than I thought. So we've got, you saw me go all the way down there and do the middle. We've now done all of that. I've even got one in the little Zen gardens that we've done. I've done this corner. You can sort of see them all dotted about now. I haven't, I haven't looked at it at night time, so I have no idea what it's going to look like. But I even put a couple on this little sort of wooden part going down to there. I didn't go any further than that because that's a little bit out of the city. Do you know what I mean? This, these lights are sort of meant to light up the city part, the civilian part and stuff. Uh, but this part is more working, more worker area. And uh, they've got torches on the bridge anyway that we put on. See, around there and, and going up there and stuff. Um, but it's a little bit more sort of work involved. Should really put some chests and some detail on there. It looks a little bit plain, doesn't it, on that dock? Uh, yeah, same with over here. It's too far away from the city. Uh, none on the front here either. Maybe we should put some on the front here. Uh, again, I, I went very uh, worker feel, uh, so I didn't bother. But maybe, you know what? Maybe if we done them like symmetrical, like we did at the at the middle parts there, we put them in these and make them uh, a bit of a feature, like this. Mm, yeah, why not? Oops. Put a random stone block on that one. Uh, they're different. <laughs> I mean, it's been nearly, no joke, nearly 100 episodes. And, uh, these have been different to the other side. It looks like if I just removed the other ones, it would have been faster. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. I, I ain't complaining. I sort of liked it like that anyway. So, well, I did like it like that. That's why I changed the other ones to it. That, that, that. Uh, that one. 
that one. So, so I suppose this is like the main like point of the city is this sort of docked, you know, entrance and stuff. You know, so it's what everyone sees first. Um, maybe uh, making it look really nice is uh, really lit up at the very least uh, is important. It's quicker just to build one than to do torch, torch, log, log, lamp, lamp, slab, slab. <laughs> it's easy just to, to, to build one and then go to the other side and build the other one. Oops. Alright, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know, that does look nice. Sort of around the front there. Adds a little bit of brown on that wall. A little bit of naturalness on that stone wall. That's good there. Uh, these are all lit up. These tents in here, so I don't have any down there. Uh, and then coming around this side now, we've got them all on the by the houses. Um, even though the house, a lot of the or not the houses, uh, the buildings at least, the commercial buildings, most of these do have their own lights out front anyway and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all nice up to there. I even came up here. I was uh, again tempted not to because it's a little bit out of the way for civilian access, but it is the path that leads to the watchtower, so I think it should be lit up. Uh, so guards and stuff and i put one down there because i mean why not and then in the farmed area we've also got some torches here as well so let's have a look see what this looks like time set nine thousand time set nineteen thousand <laughs> that's better <laughs> and if we see any spots that look way too dark then we can then change it and and, and add some more in like, do I want any on the... I, I definitely... No, I don't want any on the path going to the city. That wouldn't make sense. Being on the outside. In fact, I haven't I haven't really looked at the city at all at night time. So this is going to be totally new. The arena does look a little bit dark, but a gay... But let's think, who's going to be uh, um, here at night time? In fact, that looks really cool, actually. That's a really nice ambiance on that. But you're not going to be watching the arena at night time anyway, are you? Uh, I don't want to light that uh, waterfall up. So let's start heading into the city here. Uh, let's do um, let's do a flyover first. And then we'll go down to ground level. So this is all nicely up. So you're not going to get any light in the farms, are you? So that's fine there. That is Now it's all sort of rendered in. Those little spots of like gold and light. It, that is warm feeling. Look at that, hey? That looks alive, doesn't it? That looks like proper lived in a little community there. The church lights and stuff. That's really, re that's really, really cool. Right, little glows going in there. Obviously, I didn't do it down in the slummed area. Because, again, it's outside of the city. Uh, it's not, they're not going to be bothered by it. It's like the king's bedroom lit up there. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's really cool. So you get a little bit of light going through there. We've got the light down there. Can you see any other lights through the castle? Oh, yeah. That's sick how it just like lights up little bits of them through the glass and stuff. Why is there a little light coming from here? Oh, yeah, because we've got torches underneath them. Yeah, some light there and there. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it's it's... it's night time and the lights are sort of going out but there's still some people awake marketplace what a beautiful glow on there ships nicely going glowing the mines got some action the lights on the tops of the bridges that's nice we've we've thought quite well over the course of this series what it would look like at night time but just never done it <laughs> never looked at it at night the waterfall with its own lights are really nice down there um this front looks beautiful with the lights now yeah, and I think we don't made the right choice of going glowstone lamp instead of a uh, uh, redstone lamp instead of glowstone. Um, good decision. Down in the slums area, those should be relatively well lit. Also over here because of the fire and stuff that we've got going on. Yeah, it's got a very derelict feel. Warm, warm red glow, um, but definitely feels distant from the city in fact that's a really cool view isn't it with the the slums area you know the, these tiny little houses that yeah, they walk on mud and just have fire for you know warmth uh, outside and then you've got this sort of wooded trees area to keep 
the main city from being able to even see them. You know, they put these trees in the way. We don't want to uh, to be able to see you slum, scum people, you poor people. With uh, we're all rich living in our nice houses. Hmm. Really cool. I'm really stoked about this. Set time. Seven thousand. Oh, time set, isn't it? Time set. Seven thousand. Ta-da! All right, guys. I'm going to leave the episode there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We should see you in the next episode. Bye!